हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो विद बी तन्मय मेहता योर होम टेक्नोलॉजी कंसल्टेंट और होम थिएटर वाले भैया एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एड्रेस वन ऑफ द वेरी कॉमन पेन पॉइंट्स ऑफ होम थिएटर यूजर्स वेर इन दे ऑल कंप्लेंट अबाउट प्रोजेक्टर फ्लक्चुएटिंग कॉन्स्टेंटली नाउ इफ एट ऑल यू हैव बीन ऑल्सो फेसिंग द सेम इशूज वेर इन यू आर वॉचिंग समथिंग ऑन द ऑन द प्रोजेक्टर स्क्रीन एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली देर हैज़ बीन अ स्क्रीन विच इज़ गोइंग ऑन एंड ऑफ now whilst this is happening maybe you are getting the sound but you are not getting the video at all so basically, basically there is a video loss for constant seconds while watching something and that is causing you irritation and not at all giving you a good desirable immersive home cinema experience now if that's your pain point please let me know in the comments as to what are the products that you are using so that we know that this particular video is helping to each one of you who are having various products in their homes but facing the same common challenge now before i begin let me introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta and i've been into this home cinema industry since last 9 years and i've done more than thousands of installations across india with my team based out of pune here and our primary job is to ensure that we design world class home cinema experiences now while doing that we came across so many products so many uh, verticals and so many customers that we thought that this channel should help each one of you who are actually trying to find out solutions or trying to buy something and are not getting the right responses or right products and that is where i or this with the help of this particular youtube channel try to step in to ensure that you are in a better place to make well informed wise and correct decisions when it comes to buying or serving anything in the home cinema industry and that too for the indian markets so if you find this valuable then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you and i can stay connected okay now let's go back to our topic which is project of fluctuations because in this particular video i am going to share with you seven different ways okay so if not first go for the second if not second go for the third and like this we are going to talk about seven different ways in fixing the projector fluctuations now as we discuss one of the common you know pain point of the undesirable home cinema experiences can be the projector fluctuations and for that reason the very first step is to check for the projector's lamp bars because if the projector is beyond its you know lifetime or life supported lamp bars then maybe it is a time to change the lamp so that probably is the step number 1 wherein you might have to change the lamp altogether because it's the lamp which is now gone beyond its limited hour supply and you have to change it so that you get a better and a non fluctuating image on the screen the second way to avoid projector fluctuations is to ensure that you are giving it a very nice power supply now the reason for this is because in indian markets we see so many voltage fluctuations which go as low as 150 volts and go as high as 330 volts now the recommended obviously voltage that we have to give to our products is 230 volts ac and it has to be in a nice or a pure format now obviously if the input signal is in a bad condition then you will not see a good picture on the screen or you will see constant fluctuations and that is why using a surge protector or a power conditioner is a must to ensure that you are getting a stable image on the screen which is without fluctuation so the step number 2 as i said is to use surge protectors or to use power conditioners for giving effective power supply or a pure power supply to your projectors the step number 3 is obviously to change the hdmi cable now the reason for changing the hdmi cables is cause what happens is hdmi cables typically if it's copper it also carries power signal through copper channels now this power fluctuation can damage the hdmi cable and that can be one of the reasons why you are seeing projector image fluctuations on the screen and changing the hdmi cable might you know as well solve that solve this particular issue the fourth thing that you have to do is to turn off the hdmi cc or hdmi link or hdmi control in the products that that are connected in this particular chain so let's say if it's the av receiver if it's projector then turn off hdmi link and hdmi cc in both the devices by going into the settings so you will find them in the settings of the product wherein certain brands will mention it as hdmi link or certain brands will mention it as hdmi control or certain brands will call it as hdmi cc basically cc stands for consumer electronics control and by doing all these three 
you can actually stop the power transmission or the power signal sharing between two devices and in a way it can protect your equipments as well as the cable in the long run so try doing this uh, try try doing this and this can be the fourth way to stop your projector fluctuations the fifth way to stop your projector fluctuations is by adding an hdmi splitter which comes with a unique feature of edid now edid stands for extended display identification data which means that you can actually program it according to the video display so that the hdmi signal is converted into that particular resolution or in that particular format and can be a good device to solve the handshake issues that comes between two products like for instance if the tata sky when connected directly to projector is giving you a constant signal but only when it's routed through an avr then it's causing this uh, fluctuation then the problem is not with the cable not with the tata sky not with the projector or even with the av receiver it's basically an hdmi handshaking issue wherein the devices are not able to communicate with each other properly and to solve these issues it's better to buy this edid feature hdmi splitter wherein you can set the knobs of the edid and that may resolve your projector fluctuations now this was the fifth step the sixth step which is very similar to a handshaking issue is basically you need to change the refresh rate or frame rate of the products that are in the link now primarily i would say that just do it for the input source and you would good to have a stable image on the screen so let's say if it's tata sky go into the picture settings of your tata sky setup box go into the picture settings in the resolution format you will see there is uh, 1080p 1080i at 50 hertz 60 hertz try changing this refresh rate or frame rate and you may have your projectors image stabilized by doing this similarly if you have got fire tv stick or apple tv then again go into the picture settings of this device and try to change the refresh rate or frame rate cause that is where they are basically causing damage or not damage but they are the ones who are giving you troubles by having the projector fluctuated in terms of the video signal wherein the audio is still being felt but the video is missed for a particular seconds so this was the sixth way the seventh way to stop your projector fluctuations which is one of the last ways that i'm going to share it guys is that you need to check whether you have got enough grounding or earthing provided to the sockets the second thing that you have to do in the same step is to avoid connecting multiple devices on the same phase line which means that the line needs to come in directly from the distribution board for the av supply because that way all the electronic products can have a direct communication from the central distribution board and there is a dedicated phase line for all these products if at all you are clubbing the various products what happens primarily by doing this is when you turn on the fan your projector will give some fluctuations if you are turning on let's say a geyser or you are turning on a grinder in the kitchen then you are seeing that there is a fluctuation in the image now this all is happening cause your phase line is distributed among various products in the houses and the moment a particular product starts dragging more power the other product is not getting that power and due to which it's giving you fluctuations so if these seven ways find value to you then hit like button right now and tell me what is it that you tried and what worked for you in your favor to stop the projectors projectors fluctuation and in case you are still facing issues then make sure to use the link in the description wherein you and i can stay connected over a t20 call or over some other virtual installation help with me or my team and to those of you who are looking for more such insightful and valuable videos then do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you and i can stay connected and i tanmay mehta your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya will see you all in my next video thank you